Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look will be on this springtime appropriate like makeup look. As you can see I've done like a little glitter cut crease thing going on, smoky liner, lashes, lips, all that good stuff. So I do hope you enjoy it. It is a very simple, very simple look to do. And I feel like it just suits all you guys going into springtime now. All in the northern hemisphere going into the warmer weather. I'm so jealous. But I just think it's nice and like soft. It's a very soft glam look you can wear during the day, during the night. Whenever you feel appropriate, like it's appropriate to wear. I did do like false lashes too to like amp it up. But you can totally do it with just natural lashes. Like you do you boo, you do you. But yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go in and watch the tutorial now. So I do hope you enjoy. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below before you leave. That would help me out so much. I'd love to see you in my next tutorial. Oh, and also make sure to leave a request, like a comment down below of what you'd like me to do in my upcoming videos. Like if you have any, if you have any requests or ideas that you'd like to see or for me to do for you, I would be more than happy to do a makeup look or skincare routine or whatever it may be um, for you guys. But yeah, otherwise, without further ado, let's go straight into the makeup look. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys, so I've already primed my lids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Uh, I just want something to neutralize the base so that the colors will stand out really well with this look. Um, it is going to be like a springtime kind of theme makeup look if I haven't said that already in the intro. Just because I know a lot of you guys are headed into spring and I just think it would be really pretty with like the kind of color tones that I have in mind. Like pinks, um, like uh, rose gold, like just kind of champagne-y colors. I don't know. I'm just feeling... Or maybe, maybe I'll just say like pinky peachy vibes. Like, let's go pinky peachy. That's kind of where I'm at. Anyways, so like I said, I've already neutralized the eyes with my eye base. So next is the eyeshadows. So to begin off with, I'm grabbing my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and just taking Silk Cream from the palette. Um, I use this in my transition a lot just because it's a couple shades darker than my skin tone. So I always find it like as a perfect transition to like begin the look off with. So I've just started it through the outer crease area and as I get to this area here, the very outer portion, don't mind the birds, <laughs> I'm just kind of like smooshing the brush a little bit like so it's a bit flatter so that that product gets dispersed a bit further um, along. So I want that to be quite a kind of elongated eye I guess. I mean what's new with me? I swear I do those all the time like these kind of looks but... I think they flatter my eyes really well and I like them the best. So I'm just kind of like creating that out of V, I guess, on the on the eye. Giving that definition into the crease a little bit. So the next shade I'm going to grab is the shade from the Aspen Ovard um, Tarte Collaboration Palette. And I'm going to take the shade made you blush so basically it's just the blush shade it's gorgeous like maybe pink i just love it so much and on that same fluffy brush i'm just going to place that through the crease again i'm just buffing it from outer to inner corner bringing it about two thirds of the way and just applying a little bit at a time so like i say in all my like eye tutorial videos you want to just try and build up the color instead of going ham in on the first go and then having all this product and like no room to blend it out you want to just apply a little bit at a time just layer it up anywho next shade i'm going to go in with is so i'm going to go in with my morphe 350 palette and take that kind of like how would you describe that like reddish tone i would say like peachy tone i'm going to place that um just below where we placed the previous shades through the crease just to kind of bring that more berry ready tone into the look and I'm using a petite crease brush and just starting from the outer corner blending it through the crease and then just taking some of that Meiji blush shade again and just softening the edges and I'm using that initial fluffy brush that we went in with before Okay, so I'm going to quickly cut my crease. I'm going to go in with just like a flat eyeshadow brush and some of my 
um, eye primer, the um, Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm just going to quickly just carve out about two thirds of the way across my crease. So I just like to like diffuse the edges of that cut crease um, when I carve out my eye, like the crease area, just because I don't want like a harsh line of concealer sitting there. It makes it harder for the eyeshadows to blend in and look seamless into that gradient. So I just diffuse the edges with my finger um, before it sets in place. So I've carved out my crease and for my initial like inner corner part of the lid like as I'm going through the cut crease I kind of want to have like a gradient of colours if that makes sense. So I'm going to first of all take Brilliance from the Aspen Over palette and just place that on my inner third of the cut crease. And I'm just taking my Morphe M326 brush, the precision check the brush that's what it's called. I'm going in with my Zoeva Precise Shader, I believe, and I'm just making that line a bit more crisp against the cut crease. So, for the lid shade, I'm going to go in with the shade Faint from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's a gorgeous, like, soft pink shade. Oh, it's so beautiful on the lid. So I'm just applying that over the rest of the like lid space where we concealed and like cut the crease. Next I'm going to take some of that like peachy ready shade and just deepen up the outer corner again. I'm just going back in with a bit of faint, just lightly. Blending it into that peachy tone just so that they melt and they like blend as one rather than just being all individual sections on the eye. So I'm just going back and forth between those shades to help them blend together. So for the next step, I want to kind of do like a smoky liner look. So I'm going to go in with some concealer first and just like map out where I want this kind of like berry tone liner to go then once I've mapped out my wings with some of that um, eye base like the concealer I'm going to next take Bitten from Makeup Geek and start placing that over top so I'm just using that precise shader brush again and just packing on that eyeshadow all over that um, like paint pot base that we just placed down, the concealer. I'm having it taper in towards the inner corner of the eye, I don't want it to come in and be too defined on the inner corner. That's why I'm not placing as heavy, like as much product there, rather just taping and kind of be a bit smoky. Um, but with the outer corner and stuff, I'm Getting it a bit more defined. And then we're gone. So now I've got my line, like my wiggle, my wings on. I think I might do like my inner corner and brow bone highlight before I go on with like mascara and lashes. So what I'm thinking is going in with the shade and light from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and just placing that on like my inner corners and brow bone, like I said, for the highlight. So before I go in with like lashes, I want to do like a, something a bit extra, do like a glitter line along my cut crease. I haven't done that in such a long time and I love the look of how it turns out. So I'm going to grab my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle and just apply the glitter liner part to that cut crease, just following the line to where it ends. For lashes now, I'm going to go in with the style Temptress Wispy from House of Lashes. I've just been loving them lately just for that like natural feel to the eyes. They're so wispy and they don't cover up the eyeshadow work that we've done already and the lash band is so thin so you don't have to wear like black eyeliner um, to conceal it up. It's just so thin it just 
easily meshes into your natural lashes. So these are with the lashes applied. You can just see there's just enough just to give the lashes a bit extra volume. Um, but they don't cover up too much of the eyeshadow, which I really like. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in my waterline with a nude liner, like a nude eye curl. I'm going in with the one from Models Prefer. And like I said, just applying that to my waterline. It just like opens up the eyes subtly. Just makes you look more awake, less tired kind of thing. If you want to make this more of like a kind of deeper smoky eye look, then you can go in with a brown. That would look really pretty as well, but... I want to keep it quite daytime, like glam appropriate today. Yeah. So I'm actually going to keep the bottom lash line really, really simple. I think I might only use like two colours. So I'm going to first of all take Bitten from my, like from Makeup Geek and just apply that um, really, really tightly against my bottom waterline. And I'm only bringing it... Uh, about that far. I don't want to close off the eyes, I want to keep them quite open. Then just grabbing that peachy ready shade from the Morphe palette and just buffing out Bitten. And I always go in with some of that initial transition shade that we use at the beginning and just really like lightly buff out the edges just so it's smoky and there's no harsh lines. And then I just finish off the eyes with a bit of bottom lash mascara. And that's the finished eye makeup. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Such a soft, wearable, glam look. So for lips, I'm thinking just keeping like a pinky nude. But I first will line them. So I'm going to go in with my natural um, lip liner in the shade 049 Natural. So I'm just lining them and like filling them in a bit. I like to slightly just overline them. And... Oops. And so a little bit just a smidge and just to make them look a little bit fuller. But I'm always careful because I don't like the look of like clown lips. Like that's just not my forte so I always just do it like just a smidge bit just over. Then I'm going to take my Pale Plethora um, liquid lipstick from Zoeva and just apply that over top. I'm just sticking with like a simple like pinky nude today. I want the eyes to be the focus so I'm just keeping it matte, not any gloss or anything. So this concludes today's makeup look guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it. It's just a simple springtime, very wearable glam look I feel. If you wear this during the day, if you want you can wear it during the night. Like I said, just switch up the waterline to that brown icon and it just becomes like a nighttime smoky eye. But yeah, I do really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below to my channel so I can see you guys in my next upcoming videos. Otherwise, I love you all so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.